How's it going guys? Calls me totally here and I need to change the light. Yeah, How's it going guys? Calls me totally here and today I'm going to be bringing you a video which is something I've wanted to do a little while and I'm a bit excited to do it. So recently I've been entertaining the idea of um, collecting more retro games like um, not the most retro like SNES or NES or anything like that but I've been considering starting to um, go back to older generations because I'm a massive fan of the older games and a lot of them are games I just played through my childhood. So the console I decided to start with now is one that I ha actually haven't played it a great deal of. And that is the Nintendo GameCube. So I, I want to do this video just to show you where I'm at now with my collection. I've been collecting it now for about a week or two. And it's a really um, it's, it's really fun really, I guess, just kind of uh, collecting old games. So I'm just going to do a little video now just going through the games that I currently have and I'm probably just for my own, I guess, enjoyment and pleasure, just gonna make this into a little, a little series. I'll do a new video for this, maybe once every two or three months. So to kick it off, I got the Pokemon Channel, which Pokemon Channel is a game I've never played. Um, I don't think I even knew it existed. The only things I do know from it is apparently it's not that great. It's like, um, apparently it's mini games. I haven't actually played it yet. I do intend on giving it a try, but I'm going to wait until um, my cousin's down, or I'm over my cousin's, and I take the GameCube with me. Just because it feels like, if anything, it's going to be a game I'll enjoy playing with someone. And especially my cousin, since me and him grew up together playing like PS2 and PlayStation 1 and the SNES together. So this will feel slightly um, like nostalgic of those times. But yeah, so Pokemon Channel is the first game that I have. So the next game I want to talk about is actually a game I got when I bought the console. Um, which I, I actually got two games with the console, not just this one, but I'll be showing that one in a little bit. So this game is Turok Evolution. Sorry, there's a bit of, I can't get it without the glare. Um, I'll be having, like as you would have known by this point now, I'm going to be putting a few screenshots between every game I show you. So Turok, this one in particular, I can't remember if I played it. The screen, uh, the actual cover, sorry, the screen, the cover is very familiar to me, like I definitely recognise it. And I know I've played other Turok games, like I remember playing Turok on the Nintendo 64 and I played the newer one on the 360. But I just, I don't have memories of this particular one, so I can't remember if I've played it or not. But so far, I haven't played this on, like, since I've bought it kind of thing, you know. But it's a game that I'm really looking forward to trying, especially because this beer, look at that bad boy. Five out of five stars it's got beer, so... <laughs> Fingers crossed, it's as good as uh, that one review by um, Maxim. But, you know, what's not to love, Turok, kill dinosaurs, I'm not sure about in this one, but you have a badass mohawk in most of them. What more could you expect, and what more could you want from life? Okay, so the next game, as I just realised, is um, one of the three games I got with the console, not two. I thought I had two, and then seeing this one, realised I'm an idiot. Made me realise I'm an idiot. And that is Simpsons Road Rage. Again, this is another game I missed out on growing up. Um, I've only ever played this game once, and this was over my cousin's, different cousin, um, my cousin Reese. I should probably, I don't know, and the other cousin's Richard. But who anyone? So it's a bit amusing because it's Ryan, Reese, and Richard. So we're all ours, and yeah, a bit weird how that works out. But yeah, so I played this like once for ten minutes over my cousin Reese's. Um, I, I just wanted, to, I wanted it really. I love The Simpsons. I've like it's, it's a, a Simpsons is something I've grown up with. Uh, I've watched it virtually all my life, and I've always enjoyed it. I know a lot of people now don't like the newer seasons, but I, I don't care. I, I don't think. Like, you can compare Simpsons to itself and say it's crap, or you can compare it to most of the other shit that's on TV now and realise that it's really not bad. It's just, it's just not as good as it used to be. Still better than most things about. But yeah, so, apparently this is just like, you pick up people in the car and you take them to their destination. Which is quite a simple premise, but I think it could be amusing. If not, like, you know, it's got two players by here, so... Could be a giggle to, um, I don't know, derby it up, I guess. Probably versus battles. Uh, 
Next, we have a game which I've had since before buying this console, so Pokemon Coliseum. I actually got this one, this particular Coliseum, because this isn't the first time I've ever had it. I had it years ago when I first had a GameCube, which wasn't when the GameCube first came out, by the way. So I got this particular copy off my cousin Richard. Um, if I remember correctly, it was through Ultimate Team. Like, he loves FIFA, and I don't. I don't even really like football. But there was something about Ultimate Team which had an appeal to me. Probably the collect inside of me. I loved collecting shit, regardless of being good or bad. And in FIFA Ultimate Team's case, it was always bad. I barely got good players. But by the end, I got some decent players, and we agreed to a trade that he would give me this, and I would give him all my players that he wanted in FIFA Ultimate Team. Which... I don't know, I'm not really sure how it works out, who got the, the good end of the straw, because he was happy with his trade, and I'm pretty sure Pokemon Coliseum dropped in value for a bit around that time, so we managed to buy Pokemon Coliseum back for like not as much as what it would have cost for me to buy it myself, so we kind of worked out for both of us, in a way. But yeah, it's a really cool game. Um, I want to get the sequel, which is kind of a spoiler now, you know that uh, Gale of Darkness is not in this video. Maybe in the next one it might be. But yeah, like, um, th this is a playthrough that me and my cousin, uh, me and Richard have been doing, uh, like, it's a playthrough, like, about four, three or four years in the making, maybe longer. I think I started playing this with Richard before I met Evie, so it could be, like, five, six years in the making. We got, like, ridiculously stuck because we are idiots and didn't pick up something in the game. And, um, yeah, we finally got past this, so maybe, like, in a week or two, I might finally get to see how this game ends. Now this, what what can I say about this, other than other than this being like one of my childhood games, I loved Ultimate Spider-Man growing up. This was a PlayStation Two game for me back in the day, though. Um, like I don't, it was like playing a comic book, especially for back then. You know, like the the open world city where you can play as both Spider-Man. I'm not sure if it's on the cover, you can kind of see him, and Venom. I bet on the back look, so you can play Spider-Man or Venom, which was an amazing thing to start off with. Um, I, I just loved it. I loved the open worldness to it. I loved the whole dual character system. Uh, if I remember correctly, like um, I'm sure some some other characters in you, isn't it? Like the Human Torch is in you. You meet the Human Torch and you do races against him. And some of the later ones are fucking annoying as hell and hard. And I'm, I I think Wolverine is in the game for some reason. I might be getting him confused with many other Spider-Man games that have Wolverine. But it, it's a great game if you've never played it. One of the best Spider-Man games, to me, it's like probably in my top three, if I had to say off the top of my head right now, alongside Spider-Man 2 and Web of Shadows. Cause I, for me, Web of Shadows is my favourite Spider-Man game. Amazing if you haven't played it, you need to give it a try. So a theme you're going to notice on this list is a lot of these games are games I missed out on growing up or played a little bit of growing up and now it's my time to catch up and play them which is the case for this game right here Super Mario Sunshine so I played this for about I've actually played it now uh, I think I've got eight stars on it so far so I'm not very far in the game I don't think but I've, you know I've had a lot of fun on it so far um, I've been watching a lot of Nintendo Life videos recently and I know um, what's his, I think it's Alex yeah, Alex from Nintendo Life that sounds right he's rated this as like the worst 3D Super Mario game because he, he just thinks it's too easy especially compared uh, because of the flood and especially when you compare it to Galaxy Odyssey and 64 I've never played Galaxy 1 or 2 which is something I mean to um, correct in the near future but so far I'm loving it I, I really like the game um, the graphics don't uh, hold up too well but I, I'm not really a big graphics person anyway if the game is fun it can look like a piece of shit you know like sliding across the screen for the most part minecraft doesn't get that luxury for me though i hate minecraft and i hate how shit it looks a game should have more than cubes when a game can't have a circle or at least attempt a circle that's when like that's when it's laziness to me <laughs> so this game now and the next game i'm considering doing the two together but i think for the purpose of the screenshots It'll be easier for me and you since I've never played this game and I've very I've seen very little of it either. 
which is Metroid Prime. I've never played a Metroid game. I've wanted to do for a long time and I still haven't played this one yet since buying it for the GameCube. I'm stro I, I really want to play it, but a big part of me wants to wait until Metroid Prime 4 comes out on the Switch and experience the first ever time playing a Metroid game with the newest and hopefully like the best one. Probably won't be the case, it'll be the newest and it'll probably hopefully be very good. But there'll be very few to like know people who will accept it being better than the older ones. But I've heard lots of great things from this game. It's made by Ray, who made the James Bond game on the GameCube as well as, well as Banjo. So you know, like I have instant um, high expectations of this game. Not even including the hype I have from other people's opinions of the game. So like I know it's, it's a third person shooter, a uh, first person shooter, sorry. With um, like uh, platforming elements to keep it with its roots. I'm just interested. To, I'm really interested in the game. So let me know in the comments if you think I should play this one now or wait until four comes out. I will trust your judgment and I will um, let you know in the next GameCube video if anyone does comment and tell me to play it or not. So next we have. Metroid Prime 2 Echoes which not really much more to say like from the last one one would expect number two would be an improvement on the last it doesn't say rare anywhere on the case at least not that I can see what's this bear retro studios well this looks like it's not made by rare which might mean it's not an improvement on the last but again I, I don't really know what to say about this game because I have not played a single Metroid game so my, my only experience with Samus is literally Smash Bros and other people's videos. Like um I'm bound to have i I've bound to have watched a video and had like Alex from Nintendo Life mention Metroid. I can't think of any other channels off the top of my head except for that one where the guy kept saying Samus and I commented on the video saying to say it correctly. Uh, I had a lot of like response on that comment which I really didn't expect. But yeah, like I I got high expectations and high hopes for both of these games. When I look at the back, especially like with these two things here, it makes me think of Halo. But yeah, like, again, let me know what you think. If I should give this game a go now or wait until number four comes out first and then come back and play the classics. Alright then, speaking of classics. Simpsons Hit and Run. Another one of my childhood games. I absolutely love this game. This and Ultimate Spider-Man and probably San Andreas are three of like the biggest games of my childhood, excluding Street Fighter. Because I you know half of these games can't even compare to my childhood and Street Fighter, going over my aunties and playing Street Fighter 2 on the SNES with my auntie and Richard. No, uh, but like and Dragon Ball Z games. I'm off topic off off topic. But yeah, so from from my understanding, this is like I guess the improvement on Simpsons Road Rage, which is part of why I wanted to play Road Rage, because I love Hit and Run, I love the system of it, of like a, a somewhat open world, it's more like open area, Springfield, we get players, the the core Simpsons family, and Apu, for some reason Apu. Um, and like I've played this since having the GameCube, I've played this one the most. This is a great game. It holds up really well, in my opinion. The driving is a lot better than I thought it was going to be, and the graphics, because they're cartoon based and like they're supposed to look like The Simpsons, not like real humans, the graphics hold really well, like better than you'd expect. Because I'm sure it says somewhere this game came out in like 2002, so you know this game is like 15 years old or something, and it has no right still looking as good as it does. And the game is just so fun, because it is Simpsons, it's written by the Simpsons. I haven't got to my favourite part of the game yet, which is, I believe, Lisa's level. Not because I like Lisa, my favourite character is Homer. But, um, or Ralph. Could be Ralph. <laughs> but, um, when you see Kang and Kordos, and uh, one of them is, I can't, I don't know how you can tell Kang from Kordos. They, no, like they're male and female and they sound the same, because they're probably voiced by the same actor, I've never checked. But one of them is saying one thing, and then the other one's like, I like it. And it's just a repeat of that, and I love it. I, I absolutely love that cutscene. And I, I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, Simpsons hit and run. 
Right, and for the one before last game, which is not actually a game, but a collection of games, I have the Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition, which again, this is another game I've had since before buying the GameCube. But this isn't my original copy of this game. The first time I ever had this game was actually my brother, um, Joshua. He gave me it. He just had the disc, didn't uh, like, and he just gave it to me. Um, I was a massive fan of Zelda before then. Like, I did like playing this version wasn't my first ever experience of Zelda. Playing it on playing Ocarina of Time on the Nintendo sixty four was actually my first ever time playing Zelda. And I didn't get to experience it properly because I was young and just trying to wind up Richard by playing the Ocarina all the time. But even that made me fall in love with the game. And then as I got older and got my own things, I believe the first time I played it properly was I emulated it on a computer. And I just fell in love with the franchise completely and like I've never looked back since. I love all the Zelda games I've played and the only ones I haven't really played much of to this date is the first two. I've at least gave the other ones all a go. But yeah, so I I, I, just, I love this game, which is it's, it's ironic because number one and number two are on this. I've just played Ocarina of Time on Majora's Mask on this one, really, and played my demo of Wind Waker. Sadly, though, this is my only Zelda game on the uh, uh, GameCube. I intend to um, rectify that very quickly. I, I want to get um, Wind Waker Collector's Edition, Ocarina of Time with the um, Master Quest Collector's Edition. And I really want Four Swords. I've never played Four Swords um, in any version. I've got the Game Boy Advance uh, cartridge of A Link to the Past with Four Swords on it. But I don't know anyone else who does. And I'm pretty sure you need three other people. You need four links or you can't play it. So I've never been able to experience Four Swords. But I know it's a relatively expensive game on the console. But... Next opportunity I get to get that, that is like top of my priority list other than maybe one or two other games I'm going to talk about at the very end of the video once I've shown you my final game for this. And we're going to get onto that right now. Right then, and last but certainly not least, this is the pride of my collection on the GameCube and that is Fire Emblem, Path of Radiance. So this was like... It's not the first Fire Emblem game I ever played. I was introduced to Fire Emblem by my friend Jay. I can't remember how or when. I just remember him introducing me to Fire Emblem in some way, shape or form. It may have been when I was playing it with... Um, J uh, playing Smash Bros. Melee with uh, Jay and Daniel and I liked Roy and... Uh, I think it was Roy and Link. And I'm sure I'm sure it stemmed from that, and it got to the point where Jay like introduced me to Fire Emblem, played it on um, a computer like the Game Boy game versions, and I found this in um, Game Station. So old it is. I'm not sure if I still have the receipt. No, I did have the receipt for a long time, but yeah, I got lucky as well, and it, it actually, as you can see, there's no disc. It's actually in the GameCube. That's that's what I was playing last. I actually got the booklet as well, which is really cool. And I bought this game many years ago for like between ten and twenty pound, which is like amazingly lucky for me now because I actually managed to find this game in Kex or CEX or Sex, wherever you call it, for a hundred and five pound, and that didn't even have the booklet, which is just crazy money. Like, you know, I I couldn't imagine wanting to spend that on this game. Oh, the game is amazing. I love it. Um, I've played. I've completed it once, the f like the first ever time I played it, and I did shit. I finished the game only with Ike and Sorin. Literally every other character died, other than story related characters. And when you finish the game, the game gives you a um, like a bonus level where you can just play through the level. Uh, you got to climb up a mountain, and I literally have Ike and Sorin, and that is it. And it's hilarious. So I'm trying, like I started a new playthrough, I think I'm on chapter 20, uh, when you um, when you fight Jill's father, for anyone who's uh, curious. But yeah, it's a fantastic game. If you can get it for cheaper than £100, I highly suggest you definitely get it, because the game is amazing, and it's just, a f it's a fantastic franchise in general, not like, you know, this isn't the only one which you want to look at. If you can get any Fire Emblem game, go for it, because it's a brilliant series 
that deserves your attention and it was better you know not better it has been good since before fire emblem awakenings on the 3ds you know like just because awakenings and fates is out and they're like the new games and everyone loves them because awakening is what made yeah, i keep on awakenings i'm sure it's awakening and awakening is what made it popular like around here at least the older games deserve your attention if just as much if not more really like, they're all great games but yeah so that's fire emblem awakenings I don't know why I said that one. <laughs> but yeah, so to end the video now, I want to, like, um, a few of the games I want to, in the near future, add to my collection, as well as I have at least two other GameCube games, which are currently in the uh, up in the attic in my mum's house, which I'm still in the process of trying to find them. And they are Soul Calibur 2, because Link was in it, so I bought it. <laughs> and, um... Ah, oh, shit, what is it now? Um, Lord of the Rings, The Food Age, which is a fantastic turn-based action, like, RPG. Amazing game. I don't think I have any more, but um, I've also got Luigi's Mansion on the way, which I was originally going to wait until that arrived before making this video, but I thought if I wait, I've already got, like, a, a new game to talk about for my next video, so it takes a little bit of pressure off me to buy games, like, in time. But um, other than that, there's not really... A great deal of games that I myself really want on the game because I never played. Like I want Smash Bros Melee or Melee, however you say it. Um, I've played that game a lot with uh, my friends. I've never owned it though, and I played it a lot with Richard. But again, I've never owned that game, so that is a game I would really like to own to have my own copy of. I'd also like to get the uh, Dragon Ball Budokai games, like uh, one, two, and three. I've done a lot of like searching online and I have found one and two. I haven't found three, but when I say searching, I mean like on eBay to buy it. I haven't Google searched. So if I Google search, I'll find out instantly if Budokai 3 is on the GameCube or not. Because there is a good chance it's not on the GameCube. Um, and other games I'd like to get, like I want to get any uh, 3D platform in Donkey Kong game because I've never played Donkey Kong. I want to get a Kirby game. I want to get the Kirby All-Star Racers because I feel that that game is arguably the best uh, kart racer that um, Nintendo have made. But that is also an expensive game for the GameCube. I've seen it for roughly £80 on bid on eBay. So that's going to cost me a, a fair bit to get. And also I want to get Mario Kart Double Dash. And I also mentioned the Zelda games when I mentioned Zelda earlier. So there's a few games I want to keep me preoccupied like with my collecting on top of the other things I collect which um, I have another video coming up in like maybe today if not in the next few days about Zelda that I've been collecting and I finally managed to finish off the collection today actually so I want to show you that um, but yeah, if there's any GameCube games you can think of that you would like recommend me getting that are worth the, my time and Price wise it doesn't matter if it's like a really expensive or a cheap one because depending on what it is will just determine how soon I get it. But yeah that is it for me I hope you've enjoyed this if you has, uh, has. if you have please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you, you know had a lot of fun with this video and I'll see you in the next video but until then please take care and don't forget to buy a new hat for Christmas. <laughs>